Today's going to be challenging for a minute just because it's super windy out here. We're going to go ahead and see this. It's 644 West Middle Street in Chelsea. Absolutely crazy windy day today. Let's flip this around and take a look at our neighborhood, shall we? Okay, Middle Street turns out it's a little bit busy. A little more than I thought. It does run or parallel to the uh, train tracks behind us here. Um, nice neighborhood, generally. As you can see, this uh, flag's having a bit of an issue. Um, so let's look down the street here. We have a kind of a constant flow of cars coming through here. Not sure why, but that's just what's going on. Um, this house is a stone house. It's beautiful. next door before we go in. Yeah, it's some sort of crazy business. No idea what's back there. It's not the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Um, and it looks like you can drive back to the backyard. As long as we're here, let's take a look at it. You can see up there is the train tracks. So we're sitting near the train tracks here. There's a little outbuilding. Uh, I don't know what you keep in there. and see what we're looking at. I mean, I'm not seeing any cracks on the wall, but I'm not looking at it. I'm not an inspector. I'm just making sure that we know what we're getting. So this porch, as you can see, is a beautiful old porch, but it is not in the greatest condition. As you look at these pillars here, you can see um, they're bowing in this way. Um, and the roof line tells another story. This uh, seems to be a little bit bowed this way. We look at this just um things to consider when you're looking at a house to purchase it definitely pitches towards the house which is exactly not what you want you want the opposite if you look at these pillars back here these sort of bow outward um so this uh this whole porch would need some work um here we have the first uh, uh, let me Back this out a bit, all right. Back it out. We've got this funky little secondary doorway here. Um, I'll see if I can get you a better view of it. Just, uh, I'm sure it's to help with, uh, okay. Come on, gimbal, play nice. There we go. Got a lot of woodwork in here. So let's, like I said, let's take a look at this two door system here. It's just a heat retention, make sure that you're not got anything losing a lot of heat in the, the winter. Try to close this. All right, so here's a stone fireplace living room right on the right hand side as you come into this. Um, I don't know why this thing's fighting with me today. Uh, pretty cool space. Uh, I would probably replace the carpets, although they're not in bad shape. Uh, it's just, that's just me. There might be even wood under there. So um, like the rest of this house, this, this wood floors look like they are original. Um, I think they need work. There's no doubt about it. There's some patches that things have been taken out. Um, as you can see, rugs are uh, hiding some imperfections. The imperfections are also beautiful, but um, just something to be con to consider. It looks to me like if you look at this patch here, they took out some sort of little half wall in here that was cumbering, encumbering the uh, entrance and opened that out, which was a beautiful idea. Um, let me go ahead and scan this front entrance because it's really cool. It's so open right here. So you go in and you've got a dining room on the left with these beautiful built-ins. Look at this little chair right here for putting on your shoes. Um, stairway to upstairs. I'm not sure what this room is to the right. There's our closet right ahead of us and our living space, our family room of sorts right to the right. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see what the rest of this is. I mean, this may be your main living space here. If this is your only common space, I think that you're, it's not laid out like we might normally lay it out. So here is a bedroom. 
with a closet, not a bath though. First floor bedroom. Ah, as you can see, these windows are newer. That's nice to see. So you've got a good heat retention in the winter. This green carpet is something else. And I'm gonna leave that right there. This is your coat closet, old school and you know dark so that we can't really see it. It's got some old linoleum on the floor there. Yeah, looking at these windows, this is nice. I love these windows by the fireplace here. Let's look at that. They've, they've managed to retain that uh, old feature that's beautiful. These built-ins are amazing. Somebody put some sort of fabric on there at some point. And the stonework around the fireplace is gorgeous. These old grates on the floor are original. They're beautiful. See that? Gotta love old houses. I mean, really, you gotta love old houses if you're gonna purchase this. Um, <clears throat> this built-in is amazing. If you didn't want it, you could take it out. I'm not sure why you would. Good light here, even though we've got this covered front porch. Um, I can't wait to get in that kitchen and take a look. So here's like a really cool office space with double doors that are glass on this lower level. I mean, I would be in heaven in here. This is great. This is as good as my office in town. Uh, I don't have an office in Chelsea, but you know what I'm saying. This is great. It's fantastic. Oh, that is a humongous stand-up desk. I give him kudos. Thumbs up on the stand-up desk. Nice new windows in here. All right, who wants to go in the kitchen with me? I know you do. Let's check it out. Oh, secret bathroom or something. All right. Oh, there we are. All right, so we've got a redone kitchen. Obviously, this is not how they did kitchens in the in the old days. This is a nice space. It's got. Uh, I would put a. I would put in taller cabinets. I would have put in rooftop ceiling height cabinets. They didn't do that. They uh, shortened that deal a little bit. But look at this. I mean, this has such a pleasing. I want to hang out in the kitchen feel to me. I love this backdrop. And there's more space over here in this little bump out area. We're gonna check it out. This window gives us lots of light so you can see the train going by, however often that happens. We've got a behemoth size fridge here in this space, but you could utilize this space next to it better. And the, the huge fridge is not an encumbrance. An encumbrance at this location, there's plenty of space to walk through here. It's fine, it doesn't jump out at me as being um, too much for this space. So this, is this a back door? I don't know. This this desk space is what they're using it for as you can see there's a chair here and more storage underneath this has a big overhang so you could definitely put a couple chairs here and have it as a breakfast coffee space as you can see they've got their coffee maker over here they've got way too many plants on this table for me but that's a personal personal issue uh oh hey look at that pantry walk-in pantry brilliant can't get enough of that. Kill for a pantry. Kill. All right, so this goes downstairs and out. Um, we're going to take a look at the rest of the house before we check that out. I'm dying to see this little bathroom that looks like. It's been redone. Nice. And this is not little. This is a huge half bath. With half bath, my butt. It's a full bath. All right. And it's been completely refinished. It's beautiful. Look at that. I love those little tiles and the, and the bump out there. And this is a deep tub. If you are a tub person, great. If you're old and decrepit, you're not going to love that. But look at this sink and vanity. For all I know, it could have come from Ikea, but it is beautiful. And this is a, yeah, a real marble top. Um, cool. I like what they've done in here. Mm, there's a window that is not in the tub. And my inspectors will be happy about that. So this bathroom could be used by that um, bedroom on the first floor. Although it is nowhere near it, it still could be used by that. Or, so this bathroom backs up to this office. If you really wanted a master on this floor, you could make this into your master, although it's not the hugest bedroom. Okay. Just a thought, 
So there's your kitchen, your family room. We're just walking through this big, big dining space. And let's go up the green stairway to see what we find, shall we? This may be where they, <laughs> where they lose me. Okay, so these little windows do not open. They go to the back stairs, but they're still newer. Don't know when the windows were put in. Let's take a look. This upper level really looks like it could use some new carpet, but that's pretty minor. It's got those sort of lower ceilings that kind of make you wonder. Okay, so we have a lot of, uh, they've, they've utilized the space well. Let's take a look at this. So there's some cabinets and some cute little groovy space down here, which could be a kid play space or a nice place for your cats to hide when you have company. Um, this is the end bedroom. So it's going to be one of the smaller ones. There's a bath up here. Here's another bedroom. Look, oh, the mystery door. Okay. I'm loving the animal print, but maybe that's just me. Okay, so don't go out this door because there is no balcony, but you could put a balcony and deck up here once you repair that front uh, roof. I wouldn't stand on it right now. So this is a decent sized room. It's okay. Regular sort of second bedroom style. What are these lights? Your bath up here. They have really added some space up here that wasn't in the original floor plan. Okay, <laughs> cool shower head. Check it out. I mean, we got a lot of action there. I don't know. You'd have to have a lot of water pumping through there. They utilize this space well. Look at that. They managed to get a lot of little cabinets into a tight space. You know, I'm rethinking my own bathroom. Okay. I don't know about this green. I mean, did you get like a sale on this green carpeting from like the golf emporium? All right. Here's the, oh, what a cute bedroom. So here's the end bedroom. It's got the skylight. They really jazzed this one up. It's got the in the built-ins here, this big window on the side, and this. You know what? Here's a space on this that we gotta go check out. So this, this is the garage next door, and there's some sort of secret space on the top there. Let's look at the basement. I'm sure because this is an old farmhouse that this basement is going to be underwhelming and not something that you can use. Because I usually don't have very high ceilings because of older basements. So back down. Here's the front entrance way from the stairwell. Oh, it's got that creaky old Man, this house is kind of amazing. All right, let's skinny around to this kitchen here and see if we can take a peek into the basement. All right, old steps, even older carpeting, and just what I expected. A low ceiling, non-usable space. The house is big, so you don't really need it. But this is, oh, this is some Michigan basement for sure. Not sure how I feel about it, honestly. Um, there's a lot going on down here. This basement was poured kind of funky. All right, so this, these are some supports that were put in at some point to uh, to manage the sinking corner of this house which is right here is where I saw the bowed wall. Although in the inside, we've got a cinder block, but as you can see, I wasn't wrong. This, this has an, an, a long, long spike that goes out into the lawn and sort of anchors this wall up that way. There's another one over there behind this. Uh, they're all along this wall. So this wall has been, I mean, it's been done correctly. This is how you want to see, what you want to see. Um, you wouldn't want to come into this house and buy it if that wasn't there. 
um, and they're all along that wall. So the entire wall has been anchored to make sure, as you can see, here's where it was bowing in. And it just can, when this starts to happen, it continues to happen. So they've got these supports here trying to stop this from further, uh, further bowing in and, and and this is, these are, like I said, long things, that long poles or spikes of some sort that go out in the lawn, and then they'll have something on the other end so that it can't pull further. So a lot of, been work, work, a lot of work has been done down here to make sure this wall isn't gonna get any worse. Um, so, I don't know, take that or leave it, but um, just something to keep in mind, it is an older house, and you're going to see some stuff like this the problem lies when somebody hasn't managed it and hasn't taken care of it and it starts to uh, get worse. And then you, you know, that, that can be a $40,000 fix, but it's been done. So there's nothing to be concerned about as far as that's concerned. Um, neat house. Let's look in that place outside. Okay, we're topside. That's the house. And we are gonna take a look in here this is above the garage all right i just came up these stairs and above the garage let's open this up a bit here's what we've got we've got an entertainment room pretty cool <laughs> pretty cool um finished completely drywall and everything that's your projector i'm pretty sure that's all going with them um, but pretty awesome room. So this is how they're heating it. You know, they're, it's, uh, it doesn't have a massive heating element, but probably for a room like that with no, um, uh, not too many windows, a couple on the other side, um, it's probably not that hard to heat. So here's the backyard and our train tracks are right there. Um, from here you can also see that there's Maybe you can't see. I can see a little bit of bowing on this wall too. So just uh, keep that in mind. It looks like it was mitigated at some point, um, but we definitely want to make sure that uh, that wall isn't going anywhere. If this were to be something you're willing to purchase. Are you in this house in Chelsea with me? Let me know if you have any questions. You can also please reach me at 734 275 uh, or come to the Ever Move site. Happy to help.